How we doing? So, like I said uh, a few weeks back, I had a little teaser trailer sort of showing some of the different cars I drove at a, uh, we'll call it a writer's event for uh, this writer's group I'm in. Um, this is the first video. I'll put a link to the trailer below here so you can kind of refresh if you haven't seen that yet. Uh, 2016 Cadillac ATS-V four-door manual transmission. Um, definitely a cool car. Just take a look at this. It's something else. So here I am, 2016 ATS-V. This is the four-door version. Manual transmission, Recaro seats. Honestly, I feel so at home in a GM car. I liked a lot of the cars I just drove, but this just feels so much like normal. And it's very odd to me, but every time I've had a Cadillac in a press car, it's been in Florida, and I associate it with like being in Florida and on kind of on vacation. So like when I see, you know, the little buttons here and I can pick what I want each thing to do, it's just, it's so nice. I really like it. I like the cue. I got the performance data recorder here. It, it just, it, ah, oh, I miss this car. I really do like it. Do have the different driving modes here. Touring, sport, snow, ice. Track does make the exhaust louder, which is awesome. like micro suede uh, shift boot knob and steering wheel this is a nice car though if you look back some decent room these are the Recaros that are uh, very similar to the ones I had on the V series that solid back and they're slightly uncomfortable but at the same time slightly cool we got heads-up display over here uh, the carbon fiber in the dash, it is a V, that's for sure. So let's, uh, let's take it around the block here, go, get, go have some fun with this thing. out I feel like in it it shouldn't Look at this almost like a baby CTSV. Not quite the big boy, but you're pretty darn close. The one thing I do like the most about this though is the consistency. It still feels like a Cadillac, like they didn't dumb it down, if that makes sense. Like when I'm in the, the CTSV, it feels exactly the same. Same interior, same size, it feels like. Here's a good straightaway, let's see what we can do. say this much about this car. It makes as much noise as the CTS. Brakes feel real good. about the ATS here it makes all the right noises it it's 
super tight, everything feels good and nimble, you are missing that V8 oomph that the CTS has. You look down and you're hammering through the gears, you know, trying to go, trying to go, get up there, third gear, fourth gear, and you look down and it's not where the big guy would be. And it's, it's understandable. You're a hundred and some less horsepower. You don't have V8 torque. It is different for sure. But man, this is a neat, nice car though. Really a big fan. Now I do want to add something to this video. As I was editing it together, I didn't really connect the dots when I filmed that back in October. Was that September? Um, I think it was September. Anyways, what I was doing when I said it was cutting out in second, so I would drive first, tack out, hammer to second, start to tack out, get up there, and then it all of a sudden would just like, power would just drop all of a sudden, just for no reason. I was like, it felt like, a, it almost felt like a governor or a rev limiter, and I was nowhere near the red line. What I found out was my foot on the clutch pedal, like if I kind of demonstrate, you know, my, my left foot is always sort of resting, not pressing down, not engaging, just, you know, a smidge off, no pressure, just sitting there. That had such a sensitive pedal though, I was just putting just a little blip onto the clutch and it was, I don't want to say smart enough, but it was just has a, has a really sensitive sensor on there where, uh, you know, you just tip, tap it a little bit, it's going to drop the engine power. And a lot of cars do that. They, they cut the power when you press the clutch in, like, you know, no lift shifting type thing. But um, that was what was going on with. Overall, though, super fun car. Didn't have V8 power. It did, but it didn't. Didn't have V8 feel, but super cool car. So next video is coming soon. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you next time, and um, have a great day.